Hey everyone, um, real quick, these videos are from my live streams, just broken up for ease of watching. If you want to see the long form, you can find them in my live section or watch when I stream. Anyways, thanks guys. Two battles. It does, it does look like a substation. Oh man, that, that worm died fast. Can, can I get in here, please? You guys are interrupting my mission of trying to murder you. stuck come on come on war dog you have firepower too kill the freaking spawners please move up a little bit holy crap all right. Yeah, so everyone freak out. It's perfectly fine. That's how we're meant to be alive. In stress. You're like, we're gonna die! Oh, it's fine. Oh, War Dog, stop freaking out. War Dog needs a coffee break or something. Get back up here. Stop running away. I know it's scary, guys. <laughs> Turn some color on. Yeah. Get him, war dog. Hey. I'll let everyone catch up. Move forward a little bit at a time. And stay together so those energy guys don't screw us over. Come on. Now come back. They're, part of the problem is they're coming around this corner right here instantly being able to fire on us. Come on. Kill that. Guys. Fight back, please. They just stop. They just stop firing for a minute. I thought they were, like, about to suicide by rebellion or something. Oh, man. Come on, guys. Kill the nest.
Oh my god, there's so many in there. This is gonna be a nightmare. Oh, you two get back here. Bartek. <laughs> Come on, man. I have to we might need to wait on this one a little bit and let uh let our missiles slowly erode some of the surrounding terrain to get through Awesome, sweetie. I'm trying to think. I can get up to here, but everyone moves so slow through the water. And then there's this hard corner right here too. If I could slowly erode this corner down with missile fire, then that would help. Then I'd have more of a straight shot in. <laughs> yeah, it's got too many legs. All right. I'm starting to break it apart. Taking a while. But the closer I get to actually breaking through, if I had a straight shot at those three nests there too, that would be nice. But I basically have to hold out in this spot for a minute. Bartek, stop freaking out. You're not a rookie anymore. You've been on a mission, remember? <laughs> War dog, you stop freaking out too. You're like the most veteran guy out here. Did you guys run out of bugs for a second there? So many nests in there. And because we're in a cave, I can't use uh, artillery either. Give you guys a little bit of autonomy. Also, I'm not sure it, what uh, good destroying bases does for you. I might have to check that. I'll try doing that one of these times. Come on, we're, we're getting close to eroding these walls enough I can start taking out uh, the nests. Just 
I know it takes so long, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Oh, no. There, I mean, there is some loot there, but, uh, on, Bartek, get back. <laughs> Stop running away. I swear to blob. We're getting to the point where we'll actually be able to fire on the alien tree. Uh, like, directly. I can't remember the funny name that it's called, but the description of it reminded me of a tree, so that's why I call it. <laughs> Come on. We don't have much further to go before we can start hitting it either. Ah, Calubra. I, I can try and remember that. Thank you, by the way, Bartek. Oh, we did hurt one of the nests. We're getting close. Can we move back up here, guys? We can hit the Calubra from here. Kill that guy off. Now, if I remember right, the Calubra does uh, regenerate. But I can't just smack it a few times and then everything's hunky-dory. It's like got its own personal repair system. Ah. I'm hitting these guys up these other nests every once in a while so that's helpful do you want to swap out two of the missiles on back oh, wait did I get rid of the who's got the big missile launcher oh yeah it's on the water guy that would help with this quite a bit too I should put a big missile launcher on him for long distance firing come on guys we'll push up and in a little bit we can always push back out. Look at that, he's spinning back around. Back up, back up. Move, that was close. And this is a little harder than I hoped it'd be. Back up. Yeah, the weird uh, water flow thing. I, I, I've definitely learned that uh, when this game playing it safe, like I am, definitely pays off most of the time uh, in a little bit here and uh, patience is patience pays off quite a bit in this game
At least so far, anyways. Alright. We're gonna do another push. Come on. I'll just do little steps at a time. Keep everyone together. Back up, back up. Back up! Shit! getting pushed get back up here guys maybe we can come up here and shoot down at these ones let's wait for this to pass real quick and then come up here Hey. We all have to be together. Otherwise, it, our shield stacking doesn't work. Okay. Who's got the cannon? All right. You have the cannon. All right, Bartek. You're in charge of murdering all the nests, too. <laughs> oh, that was close. Part of the problem here is they are also protected by a shield from our lasers. So, like, we're killing them so fast out here because our lasers can hit them. Which is why it's so important that you murder their nests with your cannons. You know, no pressure, no pressure. Yeah, I, I'm hitting them every once in a while. That's why they're like uh, scared hiding in the corner. But, uh, you know, <sighs> I need I should replace a lot of these missiles with cannons as well. I need some. I, I need some of the missiles uh, for terrain clearing when that's needed. But I can use the bigger missiles for that. I just have to build more because I was willful, illfully prepared, or you know, illfully and terribly unprepared. <laughs> I, I'm slowly killing them. It's been one hell of a fight. Um, let's, 
I think we got one of the nests. Alright, and move back. So the Calubra doesn't get us. Alright, let's move back forward. Alright, let's move back again. We need to... No, 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 no. Vartek. Vartek. Stop losing oxygen for a minute. Oh, you almost died, buddy. Next time when you freak out and you start running around, <laughs> run away from the enemies, <laughs> not towards them. <laughs> we'll wait for another pass and then we'll come up. Try and hit this nest a little more. All right. All right. Back up, back up. I'll let these guys get out in the open so we can kill them. We're getting there. We, we've we killed like half the nest that we're in here. I have to try and not be greedy or overconfident. Because that, that's a issue I will personally run into. We gotta fall back before the Calubra gets us. And once this one down here is done or killed, It'll be a lot easier to get these ones up here because then the missile fire won't be as concentrated or spread out. So, all right, move back. I think we hit it once or twice on that one. Uh, we're missing. Move back. We missed most of those ones. Ow. Alright. Let's sit here for a second. Let our guys calm down a little bit. Uh, so you're freaking out over there, Bartek. Gaffy was too. All right. Holy crap. All right. Don't want to get caught in that storm, wind, whatever the hell it's called, either. Oh, we need to stick together, guys. Ah. Shit. Come on. Back up. Ah, that thing's gotta be almost dead by now, right? We've hit it a few times, like there is a good hit. Back up far enough. So the shields aren't protecting them. 
That nest has got to be almost dead. I got hit again. Gonna, we're just going to sit right here for a second. All right, let's move back now. Back up. No, oh, it's finally dead. Woo! Good job, Bartek. Some solid shots right there. Now for this one, we'll slowly erode this wall away just because it's so close. We can assist with that a little bit by trying to stay down here. We might be hitting that one in the far, far back from here, too. Yeah. Yeah, we've pretty much got this in the bag. It's just going to take a m little bit longer. As long as I maintain my patience. Come on. Yeah, that nest in the back is getting hit really hard. I really, really badly want to just rush in and try and kill the Clubra. But because we're underwater, if I fuck that, if I fuck that up, we're done. Because I can't pull back uh, fast enough. When, once I make that dedicated push, I have to stick with it. Push back. back. Hmm. This thing has taken forever. I can see that it's taken damage. Right? It's just, uh... I think because it's puncturing through so many of the guys that it's taking so much reduced damage that it's gonna be a while. I think that's how the rounds work. I think they do less damage for every enemy they penetrate. I could be wrong, but I don't know. Oops, not in the wall. Poor dog, you're in a divot. Get out of the divot. Can't quite 
that angle's not quite right. right. Move up. Back. Let D pass move up. Target. Move back. Move back. Move up. Target. There we go, we got it. Pull back. Goes another nest. All right, so we gotta make a choice. There's only two nests left, so it's possible, in my mind, it's possible we'll survive pushing in to kill the Calubra. The hard part will be is most of our outgoing damage that's actually affecting these bigger guys are our lasers. Once we get in this area, we won't be able to hurt them until we do enough damage to the Calubra. Another thing I can try and do is move up far enough and concentrate just the Calubra and hopefully hit these guys with enough secondary fire that we keep them down. Or try and do a little bit of a balance. Okay. Get the Calubra! Oh. I should have done that a while ago. Let's pretend like that wasn't an option the whole time. Alright? Everyone agree that wasn't an option the whole time? I'd feel better about myself. I could have just killed the Kalubra <laughs> right away. <laughs> and now I had to have been struggling with that damn shield. I was so concentrated on the spawners, it didn't even hit me to try and kill the Kalubra. It was one hell of a battle, though. And we won. All right. Bartek, I'll give you another two medals since you're a rookie going on very much not rookie missions. I will consider you not a rookie anymore once uh, you get your first skill. Now we can move down. What's this area look like? It looks like butthole. Hmm. All right. Does that say we have 18 artillery shots? Oh man. Open field fights are gonna be awesome. Are all these on the ground? Uh. There's more titan. There's more giants over here. These 
A giant monster, very able, uh, very dangerous, able to destroy the city alone. And we are out of nukes. I wonder, do the bases turn into giants? I might have to run from these giants. No, 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 no. Not going into battle right now. Two more days until the nuke is ours. Um, how much time? We got a decent amount of components, but I will make more once this chain gun's done. Bestiary. Um, see, there's... Two? Giants, right? This one, I believe, is one of the giants. Uh, body is flat, the lower part is segmented by 16 armor plates. The upper pl part is covered with two large armor plates with breathing holes. Head built into the body has large claw like jaws and additional pair of smaller ones. Vision absent, so I can't see. Uh, three parts large segment is a strong external exoskeleton. Uh, separate Cecilia organisms live in parts near the body. Okay. They grow on spores. Oh, so where the giants have already been. I... Right? That's probably what that thing on the map is. Uh, biology mode of feeding unknown mode of birth is unknown required evidence of new species appears in regions with spores constantly travels around the planet spreading poisonous spores spores cause rot roots to grow and eventually lead to the birth of new calubra uh, able to control swarms for its own protect oh. Damn it, I accidentally closed the book. All the way to the end! Um, capable of producing huge suicidal wasps. Nature unknown, dangerous to the city. Takes significantly less damage from explosive type weapons. Now, this thing. This thing I have fought a few times. And I don't know how to deal with it because it is capable of surviving a nuclear blast, which means I have no idea how to kill it. Uh, six, six D-rings. Each ring has two pairs of legs. Uh, along with the back of the body, da da da. Edges of the spine that begin to produce blah blah blah. Each segment is covered with dense armor reinforced with a tubular skeleton. But it doesn't say how to actually kill it, I believe. I've read this a few times. And I don't ever remember it saying that I could kill it. Or even have a suggested mode of doing so. The centipede spawns another centipede when it eats this one. So the centipede spawns a centipede when it eats a centipede, or it spawns another centipede when it eats one of the smaller giants. Let's 
Order, are you up? Cool, you're rad. You should stay inside and cool down for a bit. Uh, just like 10 minutes. Five, 10 minutes, okay? Your face is really red. Get something to drink, use the bathroom, chill. Huh? Yeah. Oh, I'm all for you playing outside. Please do. I just don't want you to, you know, dehydrate too far. So output at the cost of okay. I've read that a few times. Cool. As long as it's not on anyone's property. Sure. Yeah, it, it, it's by the <laughs> Okay. All right, the berries don't eat the berries. All right, I don't know what kind they are. I've not seen them, right? And I'd have to see the whole plant to tell you if they're safe to eat or not. All right. Uh, what was I doing? Sorry. Obviously talking to my son. Um, but is there a way for me to kill the centipedes? Like it, when I fought them, it, they had like a, what looked like a health bar, but I just never was able to like ding anything off from it. So like, I'm not sure what to do against it. Hydroponics. Well, the best thing you could do is go take a picture when you have some, you know, when you're done, and then you'd come back and then search it up based off from the picture. Oh. Am I allowed to borrow your? You can borrow this one, but it's got to be plugged in for a minute. Okay. Life systems, I want to say, is what I wanted to upgrade the most. There we go. Try and get it up. Mm. Yeah. I think that's something I might try and do. Um when I have the opportunity. But uh, I'll like do the whole, um, where I'll go in and I'll save beforehand. And then uh, just, you know, not do like, I, I go in expecting to lose and die, you know. Like, hey, this is just a test, just to see what's up, you know? Uh, 26, 14, this one's 14 as well. This one's a lot like the one I was just doing. This one, I'll have a nice good angle on the Calubra. All right. Let's get you guys going. I'm going to bring the usual weirdos. All right, let's go. Ah, it is.
Oh man, this is this is gonna suck. This little bend right here. All right, push up. No shit. Come on. We gotta stay with each other. All right. Uh, do you do you have a good rest of your day, uh, Bartek? I hope you sleep well. Good luck at work tomorrow. All the good fun stuff that comes with being an adult. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, however long it is for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It's been nice to have someone to talk to. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. We'll get this little bubble of deliciousness. Ah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you live quite a ways away from me then. If it's uh, 11 past midnight. Don't do that. I, I'm telling you, just go take a picture, okay? There, if you happen to, Lance, if you happen to be deftly allergic to it and you do that, we live 20 minutes away from the nearest medical facility. Chaos now. All right. Oops. This one. That was bad. All right. Trying to fight the missile firing guys underwater is a no go. So I can keep that in mind. The ramming ones were not that bad, honestly. But, hi sweetie. I might. What's up? Huh? Is Lucas outside? Was he with you when you were out there? Okay. Baba! We take Lucy out. Thank you. All right. <sighs> He's going down, so hopefully he'll be away. Tentacle guy might be all right to fight. Let's try it. <laughs> 